Hey, what's up? Bizarre 1000 here. Guys, I want to. This is a shout out to Chronix. Chronix, great video on the Attitude Era. When did it begin and when did it end? That's a tough. I kind of agree with him on some points. Like, where it began, I believe it was that Berlin thing. We all heard about it before. A week later, where they changed went from. I think also when they went from one hour to two hours, a big boost because Nitro was on two hours. And, uh, well, I was only on an hour, like, not even an hour. It was went off at, like, 8.57 or whatever it was back in the day. Because I remember one of them, one of the key moments for me that, like, this was turning a lot more edgier is really Stone Cold freaking, or Brian Pillman pulling a gun on Stone Cold. I mean, I was like, holy crap, that was edgy. Was it hard for me to separate myself from it back then, which was really cool? Oh, uh, another cool moment I liked was, uh, see, when did it begin? I, I would say right around that time, if you want to talk about where it was really good and where it ended, I mean, it's really hard to say where it exactly ended at. You could say, like, he pointed out different spots, but he says WrestleMania 17. <sighs> I don't know about that. 17 was a good WrestleMania, yeah. 18, you had The Rock and, and uh, uh, Hogan. Yes, Hogan, I believe. But, I mean, I'm sorry. It, I say the very the end of the Attitude Era. I mean, you had some great matches. You still had risque stuff going on in the WWE after WrestleMania 17. You still had hardcore matches going on. I mean, you still had stuff happening. I think really when the Attitude Era ended is really, it really officially ended after WrestleMania 19. If you that's when a lot of fans like me say WrestleMania 19 is when you had Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle, Triple H, Booker T. I mean, a lot of the, you can say if that was the end of the Attitude Era, yeah, I think it was because that's when you still had some curse words nowadays somewhat, and you still had more edgy TV back then. You still had. Um, Bikini matches or a swimsuit contest, whatever you want to call them. Now, is that appropriate? No, but it's what we got used to seeing on WWE television. Independence Day, like Santa's Little Helper matches, stuff like that. Hardcore. I mean, the Triple H and Eugene stuff was done in the 2000s. I don't remember when exactly, but you could also even say that the night John Cena beat Triple H for the world title. That was kind of towards the end of the Attitude Era as well. So there's a lot of debate on when the Attitude Era ended, but to me, the last great pay-per-view with the end of the Attitude Era was WrestleMania 19. You had, I mean, you had the Rock and Stone Cold's final encounter. You had Chris Jericho versus Shawn Michaels. You had Triple H, Booker T. You had the Undertaker match was a tag slash handicap match eh. but I mean other than that I mean, every, I mean you had a great tag title match I mean so many great matches I believe there was a three way divas match I believe or something like that I mean there's been so many great Wrestlemania's that you could define the end of the Attitude Era and I mean there was so much cool stuff on there I mean Dare I say his name, Benoit MVP? Was that that or was it 17? It could have been 17, I'm not sure. But it's one of the two. But, guys, I mean, I mean, really seriously, I mean, Stone Cold's last match, I'll be WrestleMania 19. Great match. Triple H and Booker T was a, a great match as well. Really underrated match. I mean, the night that Brock Lesnar looked like he broke his neck, to me, was was in the, one of his last few good matches he put on at, at WrestleMania. I mean, just these great, and I'm trying to think, WrestleMania 19, wasn't that Hogan and Vince McMahon? I mean, come on, you got Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon. Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon in a street fight? I mean, guys, I mean, come on. And we all remember the infamous where the street fight with 
Like, and you can also say the invasion. When Vince McMahon, or when Vince McMahon and Shane, when the WWE bought WCW. Was that the end of the Attitude Era? Possibly. But I don't really say it was. Because they were still Attitude, they were still having the Attitude in the Attitude Era. They still had a little bit of Attitude. Even when Stone Cold joined the Alliance, when they did the whole invasion thing. It was still Attitude Era. They were still doing brawn panty matches. I look at the end of the Attitude Era when it stopped being... When the storyline... It seems like the storylines are still really good even towards the end of the Alliance when Stone Cold was a heel. Right before Stone Cold left. I mean, they were just running out of spots for people, honestly. And it was really funny, I think, too. Because there's so many great spots. And it's just too bad that they just... Poof. I mean, back then, I mean, you had Trish Stratus and the Divas Division was really rocking. The tag division was freaking awesome. I mean, you had you had two brands of tag titles. You had the World Tag Titles and you had the... You had the WE Tag Titles and you had the World Tag Titles. It was kind of weird. Like, the WE Championship was always on SmackDown. Because it was kind of like, because back then, I even think when Bischoff was there, I mean, come on, how could you say when Bischoff was in charge, that was an attitude era? I mean, he was beating up 80-year-old women, having HLA in the middle of the ring. I mean, come on, Bischoff era was not PG, and it was still edgy, and still attitude era-ish. It was still out there. So I honestly think, once we really got the stone, the the Stone Cold, the uh, John Cena taking over as champion is really when the Attitude Era was dead. And I mean, really, I mean, the only sign we've ever really seen of the Attitude Era turning was back when The Rock was the host of WrestleMania. I mean, that was really the only time when The Rock returned that night, and that was really it. I mean, let's be honest, wrestling was getting kind of boring. But, I mean, to be real, I mean, Bischoff had a lot of edgy stuff he did when he was there. I mean, honestly. I mean, we all know as, if you're not March, you know that Eric Bischoff did not create Elimination Chamber. But in the eyes of the wrestling fan who's not dug deep into the freaking internet, you look at, when you think Elimination Chamber, Eric Bischoff pops in your head. Because he's the guy who introduced the Elimination Chamber to us. So, gotta give him credit for that. And back then it was WCW, WWE. It was like SmackDown was ran by Vince McMahon and or Stephanie. And Raw was ran by WC. It was kind of like they're trying to redo that WCW. You know, WCW, WWE. That's why it was always the Raw had the world title. The WWE title was on SmackDown. I mean, that's why they kind of did it like that. And do they need to brand the shows together again? I don't know, maybe. No, because I don't think they do, because then that would kill everything right now. But do I think the Attitude Era ended at WrestleMania 17? No, I don't. I think it's more close to WrestleMania 19, hell, even WrestleMania 20 or 21. Because once it went PG... Now, do we want to look at that demographic? When did it go PG? We could look at that. That's just my opinion on that, guys. Guys, I hope the video went too long because I'm fed up. I might redo it. All right, have a good one, guys.